This yield curve is what's called the 10 year minus three month yield curve, which is basically the maturities of the bonds that make it up. The way the yield curve works is basically you take the yield of a government bond with a long term maturity and subtract the yield of a government bond with a short term maturity. And then you look at that number every day over a long period of time and you get what looks like a yield curve. And the yield curve that is composed of the 10 year yield and the three month yield is a very widely followed version of it. And there's actually a pretty good reason for this. The three month is basically the yield that tracks what the Federal Reserve, the US Central Bank is doing with their interest rate. The Fed basically controls the three month yield as they like. They can move it up and down as they wish. And so naturally, if investors are interested in knowing what the Federal Reserve is doing, they should be paying attention to the three month yield. The 10 year yield, on the other hand, is not controlled by the Federal Reserve. It's really the market, private investors that dictates where the 10 year yield is going. And the reason that it's so widely followed is because it's considered to be a great indication of something called the neutral rate. At least that's what numerous pieces of academic research suggest. The neutral rate is one of the most important concepts in economics. This is supposed to be the ideal interest rate for the economy that is not too high or not too low. So in other words, when the Federal Reserve's interest rate is below the neutral rate, it means that the economy is being stimulated, that monetary policy is what's called loose. If the Federal Reserve suddenly raises their short term interest rate above the neutral rate, that means they are tightening and so slowing the economy down. And this is why the yield curve works so well as a recession indicator, because when this happens, the yield curve is inverted. And so the Fed is slowing the economy down and basically sowing the seeds for a recession to occur. When they begin to lower interest rates again, that's usually because the economy is slowing down significantly and heading into a recession. And that is when the yield curve uninverts. Now, if we jump out of the theory a little bit and take a look at the 10 year yield, which can also be considered as the neutral rate, and we add the three month yield on top, we see that since the beginning of 2023, the yield curve has been inverted just like it was right before the last three recessions. And we can also now see that the yield curve has actually just uninverted again, just like it did right before the last three recessions. 